Hi, I'm Cassandra. I'm head of portfolio management. What I do for the Black Employee Connection is I actually founded it. So I'm the founder and also a co-lead uh, together with the rest of the core team members. Hi, I'm Kwame. I'm the lead partnership manager for Stories on Zalando. For the BEC, for the Black Employee Connection, I'm responsible for the partnerships. I'm Lizanne. I work at Zalando and lead the partner acquisition function. I'm the co-lead of the BEC. My name is Jennifer von Valdorf and I am a senior finance manager here at Zalando. In the ERG I am the treasurer. What comes into your mind when you think of Black History Month? When I think about Black history and and the importance and its relevance globally um, as a community to also have that be part of just world history right but it is historically true that only the winners write history. Historically, the winners haven't been black people, and this is true, again, globally, mostly. Um, I think it is important to correct some of these wrongs and include um, the history, because you can look into the US, you can look into Europe, and there is a strong connection usually coming from Africa, and then how that devolved, evolved over the diaspora that gives a very critical need to reflect on this history in some areas just to make sure it doesn't repeat, um, to have younger generations learn from it and raise awareness that, you know, while black history from like some of the atrocities that happened might seem a long time ago, it's really not that long when you look at the span um, of, of just continental Europe and, and the US being um, in place as countries. How about you? I, I also believe that it's important um, to, to not just highlight the struggle, but also um, highlight pre-colonial black history. Being born and bred in German, I think um, to us black history means something very different because um, we kind of learned um, of it from America or the UK. And I think um, it's something that's establishing now in, in, in Germany especially. And um, therefore it would be nice to not just speak about black history, but um, uh, just in one month, but also speak about African history, speak about pre-colonial history to um, really show also the, um, that we can pr be proud of our history. And um, I think this would also share different light of um, black people in the broader world, you know? Yeah, so in a nutshell, we're more than the struggle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100%. So normally with Black History Month, it would be, uh, I guess, a good excuse for, in the UK, cinemas to play, you know, movies from a black director or including a high um, share of um, black actors. Um, and it would just create more of a buzz around, you know, what we refer to as black excellence. I think the West in America does as well. And having a German husband, it was kind of like my here's everything you need to know about <laughs> being married to a Nigerian uh, for the month. So we'd really have fun with it, to be honest. Like we'd go to um, restaurants, not all the time Nigerian restaurants, but we'd really just kind of educate each other because there are different aspects about being black. It's the culture, it's the country, it's, it's amid the music. Um, it's quite multifaceted. I would love to say that, you know, end goal is black history and culture is constantly celebrated. Um, however, we're just not at that, that point yet worldwide. So I think it's wonderful and beautiful to have a month that is kind of fully dedicated to celebrating us, um, reflecting on the past, learning about our history. Um, it feels super relevant today still. Um, you know, I'm American, uh, part American, and so you see still, you know, instances of wanting to eradicate these histories or wanting people to forget these histories, which I think we cannot let happen. Um, and so that is why I still think there's so much importance uh, in Black History Month. And I love to see it celebrated. I love having movie theaters dedicated to black cinema, um, having celebrations with black communities. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it this year as well with our community.